my name is Lacey and welcome back to Late Night Coloring Mama. Tonight I thought we would do another color in chat, except for tonight I wanted to try something a little different. Um, but first let's get into the book and I'll show you what I'm going to do that is different. Okay, so the book is going to be Mindware Coloring Collection, Color by Number, Mystery Mosaics Book 4. And I like to go in order in my books. Sometimes I'll skip around. So this is the picture that I'm going to color. We'll see what it's going to be when we're done. This may or may not be a part two picture. Um, and this is the rainbow of 36 numbered hues. Now they don't use all the colors in one picture but these are the colors that they do use. So some of those colors will be on this one. And this is the only picture I've colored in this book. Cute little fox, which I love. Um, tonight I'll be using a variety of different markers. This book was purchased on Amazon. So if it is available still, I will link it down below. Let me move that out of the way. And then I will show you what I'm going to be doing that's a little different tonight. So since the numbers are hard to see in these types of books, sorry, that's my paper I have for the colors because I did write down the colors so I know what I'm using so I don't have to flip into the book constantly. This is the light board. So when I turn it on, it is going to get kind of dark and then I'll shut it off too when I show the colors. Um, just put this sheet protector over it just in case something decides to bleed through. Here's the page and then let's look and see what color we get to start with. So I'm going to start at the top and that's number 20. So I am going to use a teal it looks like. So let me look at my markers that I have out. This looks like... Turn, move this up a little bit so you guys can see it a little better. This is the, they have thin tip and brush tip. This is a brush marker. These are the ones that I got from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I'm not sure really how I feel about them. I will continue to use them, but not sure. Maybe I've changed. I'll try the brush tip, and if I don't like that still, I'll go to the thin tip. So, warning, I'm going to turn on this light now so it's going to get dark. Here we go. So there's the brush tip. And I'm going to try to color those 20s. Oh, this actually colors nice. Now I like them. See, things change after so many years. But then again, I did let my son use some of these, so some of the brushes did get rough. I'm not blaming him, you know. We all learn how to color, but some of them did get a little rough. They could have been for me, too. But yeah, I am liking these now, and these were from Hobby Lobby. Again, I'm going to be using a variety of markers, so I probably won't link them down below. The light board was also purchased on Amazon. I had gotten it from my husband a long time ago when I first started diamond painting in like 2017. So yes. I'm sure I might have to go over some of these when I'm done. So how is everyone doing tonight? I hope you're happy, that you're all healthy, that you're just having a good day or night, wherever you are. I am doing pretty well. I actually got a lot of things accomplished today. I got up this morning pretty early. My daughter came into bed, came into me and my husband's bed. And of course I had to get up and use the restroom. So I did that and then I was like, oh, I'll just go in there and make some coffee. It was like six, 6.30. And she got up. She likes to lay with mom sometimes. So 
So yeah, I had some coffee and then when my son got up, I made them some pancakes, which they both love. And then they played. And while they played, I was able to actually do some reading because they were playing hard. I mean, they were playing together with a bunch of toys. She's got like little doll, wooden doll figurines from her wooden doll house. And then he was playing with his, I think it's called Bakugan. I'm probably saying it wrong. Maybe not. These little figures that he loves and they were just playing away. So I did get to do some reading was nice. Um, I am currently reading, well, actually I'm reading quite a few books, but the one I was reading today, I think, I could be wrong, but I think it's a middle grade by Rick Riordan, if I'm saying that correct. And it's The Lost Hero. I think it's a Percy Jackson book and I got it from the library. And so far it's pretty good. I read all types of genres, so not really picky on those. Guess whatever piques my interest, or if I hear people talking about them saying they're good, I might want to pick them up. I'll read like the synopsis and see if it sounds interesting, and then I may pick it up. So after I read for a little bit, by then it was probably close to lunchtime, kids had lunch, and then I cleaned out our kitchen pantry, which is a cabinet with five drawers, and it needed to be organized, reorganized. I have to do that every so often to see what we all had and whatnot. And I only threw away a couple bags of things. They were like crumbs, so it wasn't like anything wasting because I don't like to waste too much. I usually try not to waste, so. I mean, it Every time we get groceries, you know, we buy the produce, the fruits and vegetables, and if I feel like we're not eating, like, the fruits too fast, we'll make some, well, the apples we always eat fast, but any of the other ones, like mandarins, I made a smoothie for the kids, so we've been making smoothies. They love smoothies, and I used to. Probably last summer not make smoothies the best they were always they never turned out right I felt like they were good tasting but I felt like they're too liquidy so for the past month or so I've been acing those down after how many years get them the thickness we like and kids love them so what I do is I get some ice out of the freezer put it in the blender Add about one and a half cups of milk. Then um, I use, because we freeze dry, so I put some of our freeze dried stuff in there. So I do our freeze dried yogurt, which tastes exactly the same. It's not weird or anything. It tastes, it tastes like yogurt. Um, and then we I have freeze dried bananas and we turn it into powder. So I use about a tablespoon of banana powder, which gives it a really good flavor. Put the four mandarins in. And then I add about a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh my gosh, they are so good. So good. My husband doesn't really have, eat smoothies, but I'll have some sometimes with the kids. And they were good. The kids loved them. Every night they want a smoothie. Mom, can we have a smoothie? I always tell them if they're being good and if they eat their supper. You know, after supper we let them pick one treat. Whatever we have, you know, fruit, something. Sometimes we might have some candy. So, they always want smoothies, so I'm making those quite a bit. The other night I threw in some blueberries that we had. 
It's like, let's put in some blueberries, and that was really good too. So that's what I did, and then I also did dishes today. Do those every day. And did some laundry, washed our bedding. And then I, in our basement, we have like another shelving unit where we have like canned goods and condiments. That's like five rows. So I organized that. And I organized our little metal shelf, which we keep like maybe garbage bags or in the box or Ziploc bags, wax paper, parchment paper, you know, aluminum foil, saran wrap, straws. I just kind of organized that too. So that turned out nice. And we do have another rack in my husband. I call it my husband's room because he calls, we call it where the desk is, the built in desk, which is the main room in the basement and the other section is the kids play area and then there's a door with like a big long room that's where my husband works and we have a shelving unit in there with our homegrown canned items homemade you know everything that we did from our garden and then we also have some totes with our freeze-dried items so yes, we try not to waste, we eat a lot at home, we rarely eat out. Except for last night, we were busy doing things around the house and got late. And it was already almost the kids' bedtime, it was getting late and we were like, oh my goodness. My husband just went to the gas station, um, Quick Trip, which is really close to our house called a quick trip. I don't know if you guys have one of those. Um, and he picked up, they have taken baked pizzas and they're actually really, really good. So he picked up two of those and we baked them at home. He got a cheese for the kids and then us a buffalo chicken one. So yeah, that's what we had last night. Okay, it looks like some images are starting to form. And this color that I'm using that I showed, I picked this as my teal color. So when I get another color, I'll shut off the light, show you the color. Maybe you guys will be able to see the picture. So we were supposed to get, they were saying, I gotta think what day, hang on here. Cause I'm actually recording this on Sunday. So Friday we were supposed to get, they said six to 10 inches of snow and then some more snow on Saturday. Well, they ended up saying it was a bust. We did get snow, yes we did, but it wasn't as, as many inches as they thought it was gonna be but it was cold. So Saturday, my husband and I and the kids went outside and it was 10 degrees. So I bundled the kids up. <laughs> you know, I put the scarves on and the hats and their coats, their coats on and their, you know, snow pants and boots and mittens and 
I was kind of laughing at my daughter because she reminded me of that little boy from a Christmas story, his brother, Alfie's brother. Well, it was cold out too, you know, and my husband snowblowed ours and some of the neighbors, our neighbors are gone for, um, they're on vacation. And I was shoveling our back area to walk around and I tried to get part of the neighbor's patio area, but my kids got too cold after we were out there for quite a while and that they wanted to come in so I didn't get very much done. I feel bad. So there's, a, there's some that's done for them, but not all. But anyway, my kids were playing in the snow and sun was making snow angels. They were running and falling in the snow. My daughter's boot kept coming off and she thought it was funny and I was like, no honey, you gotta keep your boot on. And once her glove came out, excuse me, her mitten, she was wearing mittens, once that came off, she freaked out. Burr, it's so cold. I'm like, you gotta keep those on. So after a little while of shoveling, um, my son said he was ready to come in. He was out longer than I was with his dad because I was finishing up dish dishes and I had to get my daughter ready and myself to go outside. So she wants to go in when her brother does. So I stopped and went in cause with them. But yeah, we, they had fun. Yeah, today it got to be, I think it was negative seven earlier. No, I think it's negative four. Or no, let me see here. What does the weather thing say? I don't think it says here. I have a weather thing next to me, so I don't know if it tells me or not. Should. Yeah. It says right now that it is negative six. So it's negative six. Sorry, I was thinking negative four. I thought I, I looked at it before I recorded for you. So tonight, right now, it's negative six. So it must have been negative ten earlier. And I think I just colored the wrong color because I was talking. Oh, well, that's fine. I get carried away sometimes talking. That's all right. It's okay if we make mistakes. Just work with what we got. So, so far this year, I shouldn't say just this year, but last year, I started my YouTube channel the end of October. 2023. So my goal is to color in, I wish I could do all, but probably won't happen, color in most of my coloring books at least once this year. Even the ones I've already colored in previously before starting my channel to color in those at least once and so far I've started that when I started the channel and so far I'm doing well I've been following with and it's actually fun because you know go back and seeing all my old coloring books and some of the new ones that I hauled in December it's exciting to see and decide what picture I'm in the mood for it's all about the mood what I feel like coloring, so I do enjoy that. Any of you guys set goals with coloring?
coloring for the year. I know some of you um, that I've seen on video do. I don't put too much pressure on myself because I stress about everything. So I think if I try, I'm good with that. Try to color in a mall, and if I don't, I don't. I probably won't color in a mall, but it would be fun. I'm the type of person, if I set too many goals for myself and not complete them, which I have in my life a few, quite a few times where I, I like to set goals, it's just fun for me, but if I do it too much and don't complete them, I like panic and get down about it. And So the past year or so, I've been trying to be more, well... can't you know as long as I try it shouldn't you know matter oh I missed one up here that's another nice thing about this light board you can see the numbers a lot better and if you missed if you missed or not oh I think I just colored a wrong one. Oh well oh well getting too excited sometimes that happens with color by number even when I'm not talking I'll be like focused on the number and then I'll just I don't know if it's like I daze I'm like whoops oh well I've said before I used to get beat myself up about coloring and and I don't know how I did that. Like, my parents were never that way. Or, you know, that way to us or anything. So, they're great people, my parents are. So, I don't know why I'm that way. Oh, well, it's coming along. And this brush tip is definitely helping. You guys will have to let me know in the comments, is this just too dark or is it too bright? I'm just going to put it out there and try it. Or if you prefer that I do them this way, if you do that, I probably won't do them at all, but I could do them in a good chunk of my ones that I'm able to tear out. And if they're not double-sided, because I don't want to do that. Probably would see the other side through. But yeah, this light board was originally for diamond paintings. And it plugs in, has a little cord and everything. Obviously to light up. Do any of you have this coloring book? Are any of you coloring in it or have colored this picture? If you know what this picture is, let me know in the comments. We can see when I'm finished. Or we can see if you're right on the, I'm assuming part two, I'll be doing so part two. It's starting to form, looks like something. I love these types of coloring books. I also love the Sun Life drawing books. Which will probably end up getting more of those in the future. I do have quite a few of those yet that I haven't colored in. But you guys will probably get to see at some point. Do brush tips always get a little rough, like look rough? Or maybe I just have a heavy hand and press too much. 
looks like you're painting, but I feel like I, because I know um, a few days ago I was coloring in my dining room. My kids were asleep. My husband was just watching his show or whatever that he was watching. And he would look at me because I was breaking tips off my pencils so much. I was like, goodness, my hand, I don't know what the deal is. So I think I was just pressing a little too hard. Sometimes I don't think I notice it, but I think that could be a reason why my hand cramps up sometimes. Anyway, what are you guys coloring tonight? Or are you doing any other fun hobbies? Or are you just hanging out? Or what is up? Sorry, I have my hand on here like this. Eventually I move because I'm afraid the paper will move all over the place. So that's why I'm holding on to it. So I've had a song that's been stuck in my head. My daughter was singing it over and over. So you know how sometimes you hear a song, you get stuck in your head for a long time. So I have a children's song stuck in my head. Have any of you heard? I'm not going to sing it because I do not have a good voice. <laughs> but the song that's like, one little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Do you guys know that song? And my daughter was singing that a bunch of times. So that got stuck in my head. Singing it. The quack, quack, quack. <laughs> so funny when she says that too. She is so smart. She just randomly sings stuff too that aren't even songs. She like makes up, says words and just makes a bunch of songs and like, you're going to be a singer someday. <laughs> Her mind is just so amazing. She's pretty independent with stuff like that. She loves Play-Doh. And Clay-Doh. Clay-Doh, we got some at the dollar store. Originally, I had gotten it for my son, and he wanted some like type of clay dough and he never even used it so he let her have one of his colors and now he says he's keeping the other one so maybe he'll use it and got some play dough out for her too and I did and she was making stuff for her baby's little brown cookies and she was letting we let them sit out so they would be hard like so she could feed them to her babies She did that, and then she also has this little, like, haircut thing for Play-Doh, where you slide the little guy in the chair, and he has a bunch of these little holes in his head where the Play-Doh pushes through, and then you can style or cut the hair. She's obsessed with that. It does get pretty messy, though. But she likes that. Her brother was drawing. He likes to draw a lot, and she likes to craft and paint and... Play-Doh and all the fun things too, so. So yes, that song was stuck in my head all day. It's up. So hopefully I don't get it stuck in my head again, but oh well. If it does, it does. I remember sing, singing kids' songs. So my next video, after this video, will be my coloring book haul for January. 
Now it is a small haul, smaller I should say. I did not buy any supplies. I figured right now I'm going to work with what I have. And as some of them get, like as in markers, some of them get bad and I can't refill them. And I'll just toss the ones I can't refill if they don't work, but I have quite a bit of markers and pencils, so I'm going to mess with those for a while. So I just got some coloring books that I'll be hauling. And I'm not even going to look at the pictures inside till I show you. They should be coming, I think. The rest should be coming tomorrow. And I didn't get too much either because I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to color in all my books at least once this year and I don't want it to be too overwhelming and have too many things. And then I'll have a video after that, um, something fun and new. Well, new on my channel, I should say. It's not new. It's been around. So you may already know what it is. Not going to tell you, though. When you see it, you'll have to let me know. along nicely. Yeah, it's just something fun and relaxing to me. You guys for sure will have to let me know what you think, because if it's something that you like, I may do it more often, as well as coloring. Do coloring mostly, but you know, throw that in there every once in a while. pictures coming along fairly quickly and I've only done one color so far and the thing that I'm going to show you that is new on this channel after the haul that I do um, I've only well, I've done it before but I think I've only done it once before and I came across that I had it still and I'm like, oh, that would be fun. I got all excited. Granted, my stuff is on shelves, like a shelving, like a smaller bookcase. And But I don't, I like to look at my coloring books and stuff and there's a few other things on there, but I don't always look at them. Like I skim them. And then if I pull out something, I'll look through it all. Well, that I just, I'm like, oh, I forgot about this kind of, I must have just skim over it pretty quick like know what's there but not you know what I mean and it is not a diamond painting but I do plan to show you some of those probably not this month though Maybe show you one of the other times. This month I already have videos planned, so. But I do, I would like to show you at least some of them. Maybe not do any. I'm not sure if I'd do any on camera, but like show you some of my stuff for them and 
because uh, I don't know my camera can only zoom so far otherwise it gets kind of blurry it is a webcam but it is I've had it for a while um, my husband actually works with someone that is purchasing a new camera that just came out this year but it won't be available till June and has been telling my husband all about it my husband is actually kind of waiting until that person gets theirs and reviews it and lets us know because he says it might be something that may work good with my videos so we'll see we'll see what they think and if it's worth it or I don't know but then I could probably move it closer and do those types of videos and they're not going to be getting that camera to like June or July so well, it's not diamond painting that I'll be doing, but I do hope you guys enjoy it. And if you don't, you can let me know too. It won't get me upset if you don't. If it's just something you don't like, you know, we all like different things. So that's okay. The other night I made for supper something that is called dinner in a bag. It's not really in a bag, just called like dinner in a bag. And it was actually really good. Um, me and my son and daughter ate it. Well, my daughter ate some. She's really picky. My son devoured it. And I did. My husband did not have any that night, but he had some for lunch the next day because he had a really late lunch, so he wasn't hungry. My husband does work from home, so I get to make him his lunch too, so... Sometimes he'll make his own if, you know, he feels like it or if he's hungry earlier. And I usually ask him if he wants lunch, but sometimes he'll get it if he's busy or whatnot. And sometimes he has to travel for work, so. Well, anyway, the dinner in the bag. Um, what I did was I heated up some, I heated up the pan and put some olive oil in it. Mostly when I'm cooking, I use olive oil. Sometimes if needed, I'll use a different oil if it's a different recipe, but it uses different oil. But mostly I'm cooking always with olive oil. And then once that heated up, I put in my ground beef. And I cooked that all up till it was crumbly. And all done. Once that was done, I drained the grease. And then I added two cans, like the 14.5 ounce, of stewed tomatoes. And then I added in some dried minced onion, salt, chili powder, pepper, and about a quarter teaspoon of sugar. I know that may sound weird adding sugar, but um, when I make spaghetti sauce, I put sugar in that too. Homemade spaghetti sauce, I don't usually buy spaghetti sauce anymore. I mean, I used to. I honestly used to buy it, but it's easier when we got all that fresh um, a whole, you know, sauce that we canned. We know what's in it, and it tastes so much better. So I usually use that stuff when we make, you know... I add, I add sugar in it. Well, anyway, I added that stuff in and I brought it to a boil. And once that was boiling, 
I turned it down and let it simmer for about, I'd say about five minutes. Then I stirred in one cup of elbow macaroni, covered it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Then when that was up, I took off the cover and I just let it cook a little longer so it got thicker and so it thickened basically and so that it got to the doneness of the noodles that we like. Pretty much like al dente. Now mushy not hard just right. And yeah it was really really good. My husband said he liked it too. And then tonight for supper, my husband cooked supper tonight when I was working on the pantry down here in the basement um, from the grocery store. I had bought in I had bought this one right bought or bought in. I had bought I had bought sorry. <laughs> um, see, I correct myself. I sit and think about that stuff. I had bought some cod. And we still have, they came in like a bag and they had like, they were like individually packed, individually packaged. So my husband, after they were all thawed and everything, he breaded them with his own breading that he creates. I don't know what kind of breading, I just know it's not beer batter. And he put them in the oven on air fry. Now this was the second time we've ever used the air fry button in our oven. And then he, when they were done, he took them out and squirted some lemon on them. Oh, they were so delicious. And him and the kids uh, had mashed potatoes with theirs and I had quinoa. And quinoa and brown rice of mine. They don't like that, I do, so had that with mine and they had mashed potatoes and you know what my daughter ate that fish she ate it up and that was a big yes because she don't usually she's picky usually doesn't like a lot of stuff you know and she even ate all her mashed potatoes and she usually doesn't even eat mashed potatoes she's been eating them lately so I think for us just having her try everything at least once each time has helped with her she was not like eating meats really, no vegetables, but now everything's starting to, starting to like things that she's trying them. So yes, that was really good. Um, tomorrow I'm going to make in the crock pot like a smoked ham. It's small. It's enough for like just four people. Maybe have a tiny bit left over, but not much. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to do it in the crock pot. Like some pineapple juice and maybe like broth. I don't know. I'm going to just play around and find something to put in there and I'm sure it'll be good. usually don't have to buy meat at the store because my husband likes to fish. Well, not this time of year, but normally in the late spring, early summer till like fall, he'll fish occasionally and we get our meat from like a butcher, so. That's something we do like not always yearly sometimes every other but yeah we just eat from the meat in there but I did pick up some cod because I hadn't had it in a long time and I thought I would try it with my daughter so but I won't be buying it too often because it's kind of spendy
So this is going to sound probably random. <laughs> so I was thinking, like, I haven't seen a lot of people in our state winning, like, some type of lottery or some type of money. Me and my husband, we don't really play the lottery. But we have talked about, what if we were to win? You know, I'm sure a lot of people do. I mean, we're happy with our lives now. We save. We do. We work hard. And, you know, we don't like to spend a lot of money and we eat at home a lot. Occasionally eat out. Occasionally buy us, sell some things, but um, for the most part, we're pretty good about everything. But we were, you know, what would we do if we won a ton of money? I mean, what would you do? Really, to think about it, I said I'd pay off the house. We'd pay off our house. We'd have some in savings, of course. And then I would donate some. Now these are, you know, dear to me because I've had family members that have or had them, um, to epilepsy, I would donate Alzheimer's and lymphoma. And that's what I would do. And I don't know if there's anything else I would do. I mean, we always, I mean, we've always dreamt about living in the country. My husband has us owning a home in the country, but I don't know, you know. Oops, I bumped it. I'm sorry. I just pay off our house and do the work that we need to do to our house. Because we've slowly been putting in work to our house, which we've gotten quite a bit done. And it is our home. Our kids are here, you know first home together and just home so that's what I would do anyway okay you guys see what it is now you know what we're coloring so I think Maybe I'll do one more color since we are at the outline of it already. And then we'll do the rest for a part two. What do you guys think? It is getting late and I am actually really tired. Tonight I'm drinking peppermint tea. What are you guys drinking tonight? And this peppermint tea is actually really good. It does taste like a mint. A peppermint, exactly like a peppermint. And I like it. So yeah, I can do one more color and then we'll wrap it up and see you in part two. But it probably won't be for a little bit because I got two other videos planned and then after that I'll probably do it. Do the part two. And I, I don't mind doing them in parts, honestly. I'm usually a pretty slow color, but for some reason this picture feels like it's going fast. Maybe because all of that was just like one color and I'm using a brush tip. I don't know, but it feels like that went fast. And I think I'm coloring over some of the wrong colors. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Oh well. It'll still be cute, I think. Okay, so that's it with that color. So let's shut this off quick. So that looks like so far. I'm excited. Because I think I know what it is now looking at it. We'll see. So I'm going to do 25, which is magenta. And I'm just going to use this Sharpie, this Ultra Fine Point Sharpie. And let's turn on the light. There we go. And again, I said this already. Just let me know what you guys think of the light board on there. Do you like it or is it just too much? It definitely is easier to see numbers that way though. So 
So are you guys reading any good books currently? I don't know if I already said that. I know I've talked about books, but I don't know if you guys said that. Or, I mean, eh, I can't even talk. I don't know if I said that to you guys. Yet, or asked you guys if you are reading anything good currently. Very cool. I wonder what this is going to be. This color on the outside, what they're trying to make that be. Should I tell you what I think it is? I think it's an ice cream cone. And I think these little things around it are like sprinkles. I don't know if that's right or not. I'm just guessing. My daughter loves, I'm probably saying this wrong, Marchino? Are they Marchino cherries? We have some. I'm not a big fan of them. I never have been a big fan of them. I'll eat them in like fruit cocktail. But I just don't, ugh, I don't know what it is about them. I mean, I'll eat them, I'll eat about almost anything. But yeah, I'm not a fan. Sometimes we'll make the kids, well, I don't think I've made one since my daughter. It's been a few years then. We do like kitty cocktails with like the, was it like Sprite, 7-Up and Grenadine and the Marchino cherry in it my son the first time he had me, he's like this is so good we don't let our kids have pop too much well my daughter doesn't drink pop I've let her try a sip I think or was that sparkling water mm, no I don't think she's had pop but yeah she don't like sparkling water I know that so that's all I'm going to do tonight. I'm sorry I didn't color too much, but we can do the rest in a part two. I am tired for the night, and sometimes I just need to get a little rest. But yes, this has been fun. I'm excited to finish this picture. I'm excited to see if I'm right. I think I am. It looks like it. Shut that off for you guys so you can see how pretty the colors are. I'm loving it. Again, let me get that book out here for you so I can show you and move it to the side. This is Mindware Coloring Collection Color by Number Mystery Mosaics, book four. If this is still available on Amazon, I will link it down below. And then the light board is also from Amazon, this light board. So if I do find that, I will link that too. And let me know what you guys think. I'm excited. And if you liked my video, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed and are enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. Thank you all so much. I hope you have all have a nice night and happy coloring. Bye.